poker dealer in Texas gets caught cheating after a video leaked of what appears to be the dealer stacking a certain card at the top of the deck and then proceeds to do a bunch of fake shuffles. I apologize for the low quality of this video, but that was the best evidence that was provided. Let's take a look at the full video. So it appears here they're putting a card towards the top of the deck, maybe for a certain position at the table, maybe they're colluding with someone. All of this information is still unknown at this time. And he cuts the deck, but he still knows what's at the top. Does a little fake shuffle. Doesn't actually push them all the way through, just kind of goes through the side. Still intact, no cards have actually been shuffled. And then this shuffle attempt is actually hilarious. He just riffles the cards, but doesn't even shuffle them or push them through at all. This time he does another push through, through the side, but nothing's actually being shuffled. He's keeping them intact once again. Puts the bottom there, takes the same top that has that card planted. And feel free to rewatch that if you missed it. It becomes really clear the more you watch it over and over. Hours later, a second video dropped of another poker dealer in Texas doing the same thing, although this one's a bit more skilled, but still sucks enough that it's very noticeable that they aren't really shuffling the cards and just pushing them through. Sean Deeb was the one to address this issue on Twitter, and the aftermath is still unfolding. The original version of this video was very low quality, but it was sent to Sean Deeb, who honestly was probably the perfect person to send this to because he has a huge following in the poker community, and people will definitely listen to him. So he posted the video, which got 173,000 impressions, and he said, Got a pretty disgusting video from a player down here about the Legend Poker Room down in Houston. Seems there was a few mechanic dealers down there. It's not the best quality video, but when you see it, you won't unsee it. Dealer isn't actually shuffling the cards, he's separating them back to how he wants them. He eventually followed up with a better quality video and said, I got a better quality video. I have spoken to a floor person of Legends who confirmed multiple dealers were fired for messing with the decks in the past month. I'm disappointed that no players were caught and the dealers were not prosecuted or outed so they can go do it somewhere else. Now here's the other video I was referring to where the dealer's a bit more skilled. It's a bit harder to see this time, he's a lot quicker. Sean Deeb even said the same thing. He said, another video, Def a Diff Dealer from another Houston club. This mechanic seems a lot better and trickier. I wouldn't have noticed this at the table at all. And I agree. This would have been really hard for me to catch. I would have never noticed this. And that's scary. Chance Corneth made a mental game post saying, do you get mad at the weather? Then stop getting mad when you take a bad beat. It's out of your control. And Sean Deeb said, I think in some Texas rooms, you'd be mad at someone else when you take bad beats slash cooler. Vincent Robinson on Twitter said, Curious why they didn't release the names of the dealers so that they'd be blackballed from working as a dealer in the future. Also curious why they didn't ban any players with the dealers. Not hard to check cameras to see which players are overlapping slash winning when they fall shuffle. Deeb responded, Those are my issues with this as well. Seems like such bad oversight to not do any of that stuff. This has been an interesting past couple years for poker to say the least. There's been several cheating scandals, none more famous than the Garrett Robbie hand, where Robbie made an insane hero call with Jack 4 and beat Garrett in a $269,000 pot where he had 8-7 of clubs for a huge semi bluff. And you'll see his reaction shortly and it's the moment he realizes he thinks he's been cheated. It's been all fun and games for him up to this point, especially as they run out multiple boards. He thinks she just has a better hand. He's being a good sport about it so far. Look at the look on his face. Everything changes at this moment. She's like, yeah, I got jack high. I win. And he's like, there's no way you could have made that call. There is no way you could have made that call without cheating. What What's going on right now, boys? What's going on right now, girls? What the, what, what's happening? So they never found out on this one if Robbie really cheated. You got the sign guy on Twitter going nuts every day screaming for justice for Robbie. You got other people that say there's no way she didn't cheat. She 100% cheated. There's no way she can make this call, especially because she normally plays lower buy-ins. Apparently she was back for this game. This isn't the cheating scandal I want to talk about, but it just highlights how much has been going on in the poker community. This is definitely a bit scary. You hate to see something like that where it's so clear that a dealer is cheating. You don't know which players are involved. There's so many cash games in Texas right now. 
Cash games in Texas are booming, especially with Wolfgang Poker, who plays out there, who's becoming so popular. And yeah, he's just like, I 100% got cheated. They never found evidence on this one. It's just crazy to watch these videos where these dealers are clearly cheating. So what's safer to play right now, online poker or live poker? Traditionally, people say it's much safer to play live poker and that you're way less likely to get cheated. There's no way for there to be bots or collusion. But after seeing these videos of these dealers, it's hard to trust anyone anymore. And that's why it's really important whether you're playing online or live to really trust who you're playing for. Your best bet for live poker is to avoid private games. Make sure you're always playing in a casino. If you're playing cash games, make sure there's cameras. If you're playing tournaments, make sure it's a trusted tournament host, whether that's the World Series of Poker, the World Poker Tour, or the European Poker Tour. When it comes to playing online poker in the United States, the options are pretty limited, unless you want to play on an unregulated site like America's Card Room, which a lot of people do because the guarantees are huge and no guarantee is bigger than the Venom tournament they run every few months which just boasted a guarantee of $12.5 million and first place won $1.8 million. But this didn't come without any drama. If you want to play regulated sites in the United States, ones that are safe and secure, you have to be in particular states like New Jersey or Nevada, Pennsylvania or Michigan, and the sites you can play on are limited, primarily WSOP.com. And since the player pools are limited there, the prize pools are limited as well, which is what forces so many people to play on these unregulated sites. But just this week, along with this Texas poker shuffling scandal, there were numerous bots detected on America's card room that got forced to sit out. But the problem is at this point, they had already knocked out a ton of players and had a ton of starting stacks. So how do you justify this? How do you make up for this? If you lost a big pot to one of these bots on day one, are you owed compensation? Let's take a look at what Twitter thinks. So the account on Twitter that called out these bots and brought them to the attention of America's card room is MTT database review. And according to them, they called out these bots well before ACR banned them. The first tweet they sent out on the subject was second largest stack in day two of the Venom is a bot, bot that I reported to ACR over a month ago, including directly to head of security and to WPN CEO. And WPN CEO is Phil Nagy, bot that I reported together with another 50 MTT bots, out of which a majority are still active. And if we take a look at the screenshot, the bodies calling out was Withia, who at the start of day two was just sitting out and just sat out all day. And they made a deep run. This structure is really good, so they just withered away very slowly and ended up going really far in the tournament. Ruzi, a high stakes regular and former content creator, said, wait a second, I lost to this count on the last hand of the day. How are you sure it's a bot? And he posted this clip before he heard this news. He said, how does someone bag chip lead? 300 big blind pot for monster chip lead. Always playing the biggest pot. Mama didn't raise no blank. Seems like his, her mom didn't either. At least I still made day two. And here's the hand Baruzi's talking about against Withia the bot. MTT database review sent out another tweet saying RIP Russian bot and his 32 Venom starting stacks. And you can just see them sitting out here. They later sent a recap tweet of all the bots banned mid Venom. Withia 23 starting stacks, Eric Assault 5 10 starting stacks, Maregger 32 starting stacks, Aquition 27 starting stacks. That's $230,000 worth of buy ins, ignoring Rake. Now, if I hopefully understand this correctly, this money is already being redistributed automatically just through the fact that the bots could not realize their equity and forced to sit out while their money contribute to the prize pool. And the min caches they didn't make should be taken from them and everyone placing under them should automatically ladder up. This is infinitely better situation than if the bots completed the tournament and were allowed to withdraw their potentially massive winnings. However, it is still a very random distribution of equity. Awesome if you get a sitting out bot on your left. Useless if that bot busted you on day one. Interested to see how ACR Poker handles this. Hoping they will be generous. It was the flagship tournament after all, and it isn't just the four bots in Venom, but it looks like around further 50 MTT bots, usually playing five to $215 stakes, which I reported are banned now. MTT streets looking pretty clean today. We aren't done yet. Need to see some more transparent refunds now and make sure there are better security processes put in place to eliminate bots for good, but it's a huge progress. It's definitely scary seeing all this cheating going on both in live and online poker, but it's also encouraging to see our game's ambassador stepping up and fighting to protect the game we love. That's all I had. Make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video.